Okay, so what I'm doing now is I am uh, fire polishing fire polishing some rod uh, that uh, was cut by either myself or some students uh, using a glass uh, using a file or a glass cutter. Uh, now, first, we heat the very edge uh, of the glass rod, uh, a couple millimeters or thereabouts. I'm doing this at a little bit of a weird angle uh, just for the camera. So you can see I've got uh, a very nice looking edge. However, it's always a good idea to remove the edge uh, of the glass rod that was broken uh, to remove any defects. So I'm going to heat this back up and with my tweezers come in here, pinch it and give it a little pull. And you can see, you know, I've, I've pulled a little glass blob here and I've got this glass filament. Now I come back in and you can be, you know, near the top of the flame if you want. Just burn that off. Come in here, pinch it and give it a little pull. And you can see, you know, I've, I've pulled a little glass blob here and I've got this glass filament. Now I come back in and you can be, you know, near the top of the flame if you want just burn that off, throw it in the trash. I'm going to switch hands now. And the reason why is, so uh, I've got uh, kind of a weird looking end uh, for the glass rod, but that's okay because uh, this is why we do the practice of the gather with the ball of honey. So now I go back into the flame, I heat up the edge, the very end of the rod. I don't want to get too much of the glass rod heated. Uh, and I rotate, I rotate, I keep rotating as I'm heating it. And we can see that the, ga the glass is gathering unto itself. It's gathering, giving me a nice looking uh, end, nice cone shape, uh, nice and round. I'm going to come out, I'm still rotating. I'm going to let it cool down just a little bit. And so you can see. Now, if I wanted to, I could keep heating and get myself to where I'm actually making a sphere on the end, making a, an actual uh, ball, uh, where basically I'm making a gather in this case, but I don't want it to, uh, to get very large because I just want a nice uh, a clean end uh, for my rod. This, the other side of the same rod needs to be fire polished, but it is a very bad practice to heat both ends simultaneously. That's a good way to burn yourself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this glass rod, place it away from myself on my, uh, uh, on my bench, and then pick up another glass rod uh, and then go from there. So again, uh, I've got another rod. This I want to say is about seven millimeters in diameter. Uh, that really doesn't matter. Uh, this rod is uh, over one foot in length, so it does give me some issues as far as you know how to how to hold it in my hand. That way, when I rotate, uh, I'm getting it to uh, rotate uh, along the axis without doing this to minimize the wobble. And again, th this is something that it just takes some practice. Uh, now, because my waste bucket uh, is to my right. Uh, it's easier for me to rotate using my left hand, pull off the waste glass, throw it in the bucket, and then switch hands. Uh, I could move the bucket or I could move the camera, but I would highly recommend practice rotations with your non-dominant hand. So I am right-handed, so for me it's always a good uh, uh, practice uh, to use my left for doing something like this, for rotating, uh, keeping the glass where I need it to be in the flame, keeping my rotations uh, uniform, uh, and now in a moment I'll be ready to pinch it. Uh, if it's not hot enough when I pinch it, the glass will not move. If I get too much glass heated up, it'll just be awkward because uh, when I when I pull on it, uh, uh, it might uh, it might deform one you know to one direction or another. 
you can see like there's some hot spots, you know, uh, uh, parts of the glass that glow at different uh, uh, colors. Again, those are impurities. So now I come out, pinch, give it a little pull, and then I go back into the flame, heat that up, and there we go. And then throw that away. And now I switch hands, come back in, and gather this up. <coughs> this is a uh, uh, chore. Anytime you get a shipment of glass, you're usually having to cut it to length, uh, whether with a glass cutter uh, or uh, doing it uh, purely with the flame, but there will be fire polishing required. So it's the kind of thing that you'll, you'll practice this a lot, uh, if you're working with glass just out of necessity. But it is worth the time and trouble uh, to try and get your technique as uh, uh, polished as possible. In this case, I'm trying to keep the heat uh, on the very end of the rod so that way the gather doesn't get too big and too out of control. If I heat too much glass, it will start to flop around on me. Uh, if I don't heat enough glass, nothing will happen. Uh, when, like this, this could use a little bit more. Uh, it's a little bit narrower than I want, but that's not that big of a deal, so I just go back in there. Uh, but when I do want to uh, stop, and if I want to take a look at it out of the flame, uh, you want to keep rotating. So I come out and I keep rotating. Uh, if I stop rotating, gravity will start pulling the glass down and so it'll get off center. 